This morning, questions continue to mount after more documents marked classified from President Biden's time as vice president were found at his Delaware home. A week ago, CBS News reported that classified documents were first discovered at the D.C. offices of Mr. Biden's former think tank back in November. CBS 4's Jared Hill joins us live with much more on this. Jared. Yeah. Yeah, Terry Maribel, House Republicans say they want to know who had access to President Biden's home in Wilmington, Delaware, since he took office. They want to see who, if anyone, might have had access to those classified documents. President Biden ignored questions yesterday on the discovery of more documents marked classified at his residence in Wilmington, Delaware. White House Attorney Richard Saubers said the additional pages were found on Thursday and given to the Justice Department. That makes roughly 20 classified records that have been uncovered in two locations. We're very concerned about a lack of transparency. GOP House Oversight Committee Chair James Comer sent a letter to the White House asking for the visitor log to the Biden's Wilmington home, citing national security concerns. In addition to their own investigations, House Republicans have asked the Director of National Intelligence to review the materials. We have requested an analysis of these documents, the potential harm that they may have caused, and I expect that we'll receive that within the next few weeks. New York Congressman Daniel Goldman defended the president and the White House's handling of the discoveries on CBS News Sunday, calling it by the book. We don't have any indication that President Biden knew about them. He certainly has demonstrated demonstrated no intent to deceive or obstruct the, the government by keeping them. Last week, Attorney General Merrick Garland named special counsel Robert Herr a Trump appointee to oversee the investigation into the Biden documents. Now, while Secret Service says that they screen people who visit the president's properties, a spokesperson said they don't keep records of those background checks or any sort of visitor's log for the private residences of the president. And Terry and Maribel, the White House also confirmed that while President Biden reinstated visitor logs for the White House, he doesn't independently keep records of who's visited his private homes since becoming president. All right. Thank you, Jared. So much more to come.